Frontline Building Products is a manufacturer of extruded aluminum shapes that will enable the door shops and the pre-hangers to clad virtually any pre-hung exterior door, door unit that they will make. Today's video that we will show you will take you step by step on how to clad not only a single door, but a door with side lights. It will also show you the recommended techniques and some of the application methods. We'll be doing a few cuts to show you how to do, properly cut the cladding. We're going to be touching base on a spread mold unit. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to apply starting out with a brick mold. On the side light unit, we're going to show our crown line casing. And then we'll be showing you how to apply a, a trim, wide trim casing that can be applied in the field. One of the first doors that we're going to show you, like we said, will be a 3-0 single door. Now, one of the things that we want to make mention right away is all the parts and pieces that come from Frontline will be pre-cut to your size. We will ask for your frame to be sent to us where we will get the measurements so when you get the pieces, they'll all be cut to fit exactly onto the door frame. The door frame can be put together uh, before the cladding is put on. There's no modifications whatsoever that need to be done to the frame. You're able to take the pieces out of the box and apply them to the frame. Our standard policy is that we generally recommend on a new account that you, f that you send us a KD unit on a 3-0 door and then also a door with two side lights, whatever is your standard sizing. What we do at that point is we assemble a door unit, we put your name on the side of the frame, we date it, and then we do a, a test fit so that we pre-cut all the aluminum, we get it an exact fit. Then what we do is we send it back to your facility, you can take it out of the box, test it, make sure that everything is fit properly. Once you agree that it is, we have a sign-off sheet that you sign off from stating that yes, indeed, it does all fit properly. At that point, we lock it into our system and everything is cut to those specifications. If in the future you would ever change your door spec for any reason, or you would change your sill or your wood supplier and it would change the specs at all, we need to know that so that we can change the specs on our end. The three basic most common shapes to clad a door unit is the jam cover. This is a 4 and 9 sixteenths. The brick mold profile for the nosing, and then of course the nail fin. The first pieces that are applied are the jam cover. If you notice the head piece is 45 on both ends. The left and right will have the 45 degree corner on top. The proper sill angle, whether it's a four, five, six degree angle for your sill. And again, like we had stated, you can have the unit put together, the door slab can be in, the sill on, the head on, and uh, it's at this time that you can apply the aluminum cladding. You'll notice between the locking legs that it's pre-drilled and the screws that we provide, this is where they go. It's also recommended that you start at the mitered corners before you move along screwing on anything more. This will ensure a nice tight mitered corner. You want to make sure that you utilize every hole that's pre-drilled between the locking points because when this is all done, the door is storm door ready. You can hang a storm door on this cladding without any other reinforcement, but you don't want to cut any corners by skipping any of the screw holes. There's several on, on each vertical. slide it across the table to be able to reach it. <coughs> we'll continue down the right side. You just want to make sure also that you have that cladding pulled tight to the jam. There is a three degree angle on the back side of this clad that uh, causes it to compress tight to the wood jam when it's screwed down. So you just want to make sure that you're pulling it nice and tight to the jam. As you screw it down, that 3 degree angle wedges out tight to the face of the jam so there's no face screwing required. It's at this stage now that the jam cover is put on to apply the brick mold. 
just position on top of the locking legs. Use a rubber mallet. As you tap that on, you'll hear it snap once it locks onto the locking points. It's now also important that after applying the head nosing or brick mold, that the head nailing fin be inserted at this point. Reason for that is the pocket that you slide the nail fin into, once you put on your left and right vertical, that will be covered up and you will not be, it will not be exposed in order to get the nail fin in. Now we can start by applying the left and right verticals. Again, making sure that you use a rubber hammer. If you're down a little bit on the miters, uh, it doesn't matter because you can tap it up from the bottom to close that miter nice and tight. We have one of two options. On this side here, we're going to show you a little corner key that goes in, and that fits into the little boss on the side. And Todd can tap that up from the bottom. And that corner key will hold your miter nice and tight and keep it from rocking at all. And that draws up and gives you a nice tight corner. As we put on the other side, there's also an alternative screw boss that's on the, on the corner that we use a flathead screw on. And in the screw packs, the, uh, the screws that we hold the jam cover on with are a pan head screw. It's a number eight screw. But the screws that, are, that go into the corner of the brick mold is a uh, flat head stainless steel screw. There you go. And then you'll apply the flat head screw into the corner. That'll draw up your miter nice and tight. After the uh, left and right brick mold nosing is put on, the last and final step is to uh, put in the uh, nail fin. The nail fin just slides right into a little kerf, right up next to the weather or to the door jam. You slide it up, and it is a folding nail fin, and it'll stay in a lock right position. Or you can just push it in, and it'll fold back down for shipping purposes. It's sometimes recommended just to take a little side cutter and to pinch this kerf so that when shipping, the, the, it doesn't slide back out of the, the brick mold. It'll just kind of hold it in place there. Those are the three uh, basic shapes for a uh, 3068 uh, 4 9 16th single exterior pre-hung. You've got your jam cover, brick mold, and nail fin. Uh, what you can finish the job with is uh, uh, caulk, caulk the mitered corners, and definitely caulk down by the sill. And this is the completion of a 3068 4 9 16th cladded door unit.